Isaiah 38. Mighty God, please give us understanding and be glorified. Isaiah chapter 38. In those days, look up please, was Hezekiah sick unto death. And Isaiah the prophet, Isaiah the what? The son of Amos came unto him and said, Help me read. Thus saith the Lord. Stop there. So we agreed that it was not the speakings of Isaiah. Thus saith who? The Lord. Set thy house in order. Why? For thou shalt die and not live. Don't call anybody fake again because of prophecies negative. Who spoke negative? Don't say it who now talk to me. We're Christians. Don't just begin to. The man was a vessel. I brought you Jumia package. You opened it and saw a God and you arrest. No, you, you don't. I, I was sent. I'm a messenger. Thus saith the Lord, set your house in order. He says, for thou shalt die. Who are you going to beg? Who will you beg to help you beg God? That God sends a prophet and he speaks. Put your house in order. You are going to die. Verse 2. Then Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and prayed unto who? <laughs> he turned and prayed unto the Lord verse 3 and said remember now O Lord I beseech thee how I have walked before thee in sanctify them by thy truth thy word is truth and with a perfect heart and I have done that which is good in thy sight and Hezekiah wept so verse 4 then then hold on the first time he said thus say it the Lord now he's saying the word of the Lord came to Isaiah saying verse 5 go and say to Hezekiah Thus saith the Lord, the God of David thy father, I have heard thy prayer, I have seen thy tears. Behold, I will add unto thy days 15 years. Listen, what was wrong, O oh God, with your understanding? Couldn't you see the end from the beginning again? You sent a prophet with your reputation on him. And within minutes prophecies changed this is a discussion between God and a man a man goes to God and say God what did I hear that you said you said I'm going to die let me do something to you that will make you change your own word please listen I have added now 15 days to your to your years verse 6 and i will deliver thee and this city from the king of assyria and i will defend this city next verse we're to verse 8 and this shall be a sign from the lord that what you now hear is more superior than what you had before because the both for and against me came from God. So why, which one should I believe? Remember, thus saith the Lord before came from God. Thus saith the Lord now also came from God. You have kept me in limbo. And God is saying, I will give you a sign. To show you which is superior. Please go back, verse 7. Verse 7. That the Lord will do this thing that he has spoken. Which one? Which one didn't he speak? Verse 
his head. Behold, I will bring again the shadow of the degrees which is gone down in the sun, this and that and that backwards. So the sun returned 10 degrees by which degrees it was gone down. He gave him a sign. So by the time the guy saw the sun going down, he said, ah, this sign was tied to the second prophecy and based on it i know now and i have confidence that something i have done has made god to override the first prophecy there is not let me tell you some interesting things here number one god never admitted he made a mistake so it was not a mistake god is ah sorry is it you are uh, 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 isaiah you know how busy i am i have to speak to this and that no God acted as if he didn't talk before. L listen to this. He would have said, okay, go back and say, it's okay, it's okay. Don't, you don't need to cry. I'm God. Am I still not your father? He just changed as if he's not the one. Imagine if you were that prophet. It's as if God just denied you now and left you in trouble. Imagine if Isaiah came to your church. If um, Hezekiah came to your church. Miracle service. And you now prophesied and said this is what i see oh. the same way it moved from positive to negative i can also stand in the name of the lord and prophesy to you that by next week five of you will be in america and by next week one person is in jail the other person is in the hospital and you will come back and say mr man come and arrest this man because he's fake between the first prophecy and the second prophecy man did something listen to me very carefully between the first speaking of god and what he changed man did something that means between a positive prophecy and a negative one that happens there is man in between that does something that can turn prophecy please listen to me and learn this